circle with the centre at the general point HK. The general equation of a circle with centre at point HK and radius R is given by the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is r squared and this is given in the tables this formula is given so for example we can substitute values for h k and r for example if the center of the circle h k is at 2 4 where h is 2 and k is 4 and where the radius of that circle is 5, so r is 5, we can define the precise circle with centre 2, 4 and radius 5. We just take the two terms, we're going to use them again, hk is 2, 4, r is 5. So using those, relying on that box of numbers to substitute in, we get x minus h is x minus 2 squared plus y minus k here gives us y minus 4 and the r becomes the 5. So x minus 2 squared plus bracket y minus 4 bracket squared is 5 squared. Is the circle the only circle with centre at 2, 4 and radius 5? Example 1. You're asked to draw the circle with centre at 2, 4 and radius r equals 5. How do you do that? Well, you could do it with a compass and you could do it graphically, but how would you find the points on the circle, algebraically? Well, we're going to use the general formula for a circle with centre hk and radius r, and we know that the equation has to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is r squared. We also know that hk is 2, 4, and that r is 5. So if we substitute, we know the equation is x minus 2 squared, substituting for h, y minus 4 squared, substituting for k, and r is 5 squared. Now that gives us the formula for the circle. It doesn't give us the points on the circle yet. But we can change the formula around. By taking the x minus 2 squared to the other side, we find that y minus 4 squared is 5 squared minus x minus 2 squared. So we're towards an equation in y. But we don't like the square there, so we're going to take the square root of it. So y minus 4 becomes plus or minus, or simply the square root of 5 squared minus x minus 2 squared. So we've taken the square root of the whole right hand side. Now if y minus 4 is equal to something then we would say y is equal to 4 plus or minus. So we're taking the 4, the minus 4 on the other side becomes 4. So y becomes 4 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus x minus 2 squared. The reason for the plus or minus here is that the square root of a positive number can be either positive or negative. So using this formula now, we can substitute any values we like for x on a trial basis and see if we get values for y. So taking x equals 5, we find that y is equal to 4, as before, plus or minus the square root of 5 squared. But instead of x, we're putting in the value 5. So 5 minus 2 squared. So that becomes y is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 3 squared. 5 squared is 25. 3 squared is 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. So we're left with y is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16. And the square root of 16 is either 4 or minus 4. Hence the plus or minus here. So we now know that when x is 5, y is either 4 plus 4 or 4 minus 4. So y is equal to either 8 or 0. 4 plus 4 would give us 8. 4 minus 4 gives us 0. So xy, when x is 5, is either the point 5, 8 or the point 5, 0. So we now have two points on the circle and we also know that it's centred at 2, 4. So if we look at it now, we can draw that circle 
And here we have it. We can see that its center is at 2, 4. And both 5, 8 and 5, 0 are actually on the circle. And that's how we would establish the points. And there's the equation of that circle. An alternative presentation is to use x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus r squared and to expand them out. So x minus h in the brackets to be squared would be x minus h times x minus h. And similarly, the bracket y minus k squared would be y minus k times y minus k. And the r squared would be the same. So expanding now, we would say x by x is x squared, x by minus h is minus hx, minus h by x is minus hx, and minus h by minus h is plus h squared. And we do exactly the same here. y by y, y squared, y by minus k, minus ky, minus k by y, minus ky, and minus k by minus k is plus k squared. And again, we're left with the r squared. So we can bring some of these two terms together because there's a minus hx and a minus hx. So we get x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus y squared. And again, the minus ky and the minus ky gives us the minus 2ky uh, plus k squared plus r squared. And rearranging, we get that x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky plus h squared plus k squared is r squared. Or if we wish, x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky and leaving all the variables that have nothing to do with x or y on the right hand side. R squared, taking the h squared across we get minus h squared and the k squared across we get minus k squared. So if we were to use the values hk as 2, 4 and remembering that r the radius is 5, the formula would be x minus 2 squared y minus 4 squared equals 5 squared. And expanding that, x minus 2, x minus 2 for that squared, y minus 4 by y minus 4 for the second one squared, and the 5 squared. And expanding them out as before, taking all the terms, we get x squared minus 4x plus 4 for the first one, y squared minus 8x plus 16 for the second one, and 25 for the 5 squared. And rearranging, we can take all the terms here straight down. And finally, we would end up with x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 8y. And these numbers then, the 5 on the right-hand side. That came from the, the 25 and the 4 and the 16. So 4 plus 16 gave us 20. To the other side, we got 25 minus 20 or 5. So that is the equation in another form of the circle that goes through, that is a centre at 2, 4, and a radius of 5. Now, they can vary the question a little bit, and here's an example of how they might do it. They might say, find the equation of the circle with centre at 2, 4, and radius 5. We just plug in the values. The equation is hk and radius r. We have the formula. The equation with the centre at 2, 4 and radius 5 can be found through substituting the values. So we just put in 2 where we see h, 4 where we see k, 5 where we see r. Keep them in a box so that they're safe so we can draw on them reliably. And there's the equation of that circle as before. So we don't have to go through all the expansion. We just plug in through substitution. So that's how we would find the equation of the circle if we were told the centre and the radius. Now, here's a twist on it, where they give you the question to ask for the equation of the circle with centre at 2, 4. But it also says it contains the point 5, 8. So in this case, they're not telling you the radius. They're saying the centre is at 2, 4, and the point on the circle's perimeter is 5, 8. So this point, 5, 8, must be a radius away from 2, 4. From Pythagoras, the formula for the distance of a line segment between two points is given by the differences in the x value squared and the differences in the y value squared added together and then the square root. So the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum 
of the other two squares. Here are our two points, 2, 4 and 5, 8, x1, y1 and x2, y2. And this equation is from the line section of the course or the length of a line segment. Substituting the values, we'll see that the differences in x values go from 2 to 5. So that's our 2 minus 5 there. And our y values are 4 and 8, 4 minus 8. So 2 minus 5 squared plus 4 minus 8 squared. Or minus 3 squared plus minus 4 squared. Or 9 plus 16. Or the square root of 25. Or 5. Now we don't use minus 5 here because we're talking about a radius. And a radius is always a positive value. But we found the value for R. So now that we know the value of R and we know the centre, we should be able to do the equation from that. So... With the centre and the point, we've done that. So it's given by x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus r equals r squared. This is your formula in the tables, which you can rely on. You know that the centre is at 2, 4. And you've also identified the radius as 5 from the Pythagoras use on the line segment. So the substituting the values in, we find that the equation is simply x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 5 squared.